I just bought the cheapest fishing rod holder on Amazon. Was it worth it? Let's do it. <laughs> everybody chick here again with another video and you know the routine and as my daughters would say with the tiktok ding don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to get alerted for every new video the fishing pole rod holder i needed one real bad i got fishing poles laying all over and where i keep my fishing poles at in storage I can't have any horizontal rod holders because I don't have any way to uh, brace them. So I went ahead and bought the cheapest vertical rod holder on Amazon. It's called the Redneck Convent Fishing Rod Holder. Ooh. I think I paid maybe about $26, $27 for it the time so with shipping and tax i got it for about 30 bucks i'm about to open it up put it together let's see if it was worth the money and by the magic of tv i'm gonna snap my fingers and it'll be all good to go boom just like that the red net convent vertical rod holder Ooh, we in some business now we got a rod holder so first thing about it it's made of total plastic okay so you know it, it's gonna be made cheap It's the cheapest one they had first thing is these two pieces here the uh, pegs from the top one just go into the bottom one well guess what when I was putting it one peg broke so say pop bon uh, oh. that could have been the Cajun word of the day so kind of started off on the wrong foot uh, so I went ahead and put some Gorilla Glue, so uh, a little bit on the cheaper side, you know, but I think I'll be able to fix that. Other than that, I mean, you basically just have two sides you put together and you just screw, um, you know, your two columns here that's going to hold your rod holder. Uh, and then you put your two uh, bottom slides where the bottom of the rod holder is going to sit. Gives you a little brace to put at the bottom, so, you know. I mean, it's all plastic. It's not like having a wood rod holder, but I don't find it that bad. I don't think it's a bad rod holder for being cheap and being plastic, you know? So it's a redneck covenant. I'm not a redneck, I am a Cajun, but I really know some cool rednecks. So let me just throw that out there. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like. Not too bad. I like the way it sits. As you can see, the, the rod just sits on that bottom plate. And then you sit the rod on the inside of the bottom and it comes out on the outside of this one. So, excuse the shadowing or if you hear any echoes, I'm just inside the house just trying to show you. So, uh, this is what it looks like. Like I said, probably about three rods on each side. We'll see how it works. So just wanted to give a short little video. I'm in my office today. Uh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just lying. I'm in my girl's room. I put up a little Louisiana flag, kind of look fancy. I got one of my poles in the back. Like I really know what I'm doing. Okay, I know I fooled y'all for a minute. So trying to look sophisticated. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so anyway, short video on a little rod stand where I store my rods. I can't have a horizontal one, so I tried to find a uh, vertical one. So I went with the cheapest one. And, you know, for 25 bucks, even though it's all plastic, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, I don't regret getting it at all. Um, like I said, I did break one of the pegs one minute into putting it together. And uh, so I, I'm a Gorilla Glue it. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Uh, once you put in the peg, as you can see, you put some screws in there and it kind of holds them together. And then you just screw on each side and give you some screws to do your, um, you know, what's gonna actually hold your rod. So anyway, quick review. Uh, you know, I would recommend getting it if you just need a cheap rod holder, uh, nothing fancy, you know, Depending on how big your rods are, I mean, I'm not going to put one in each slot because, I mean, they're going to be hitting each other. So I, I would think you could probably put one on every other every other hole, you know, not counting this one. So one, two, three, you know, probably about three on each side. So I would think 
you could probably hold, uh, you know, six good bait casters or spinning reels on it. So still quarantine. Just wanted to give you a little video on something I got. So uh, like I said, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get alerts for the next video. So in the meantime, let's do the Cajun word of the day. Cajun word of the day. As soon as I broke the little peg that goes into the other one, I says, c'est pas bon. So the Cajun word of the day, talking about breaking one of these pegs, I said, pas bon. Cajun means not good. Pa means not. Bon means good. Not good, nay. So when I broke the peg, the first thing I said is, c'est pas bon, nay. Cajun word of the day, little review on the redneck convent. Not bad. So far, so good. We'll see if it lasts. See you on the next one. Yeah, buddy.